Jeremy, how good, mate, first off, to see so many fans out there today wishing you so much support for the year ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's awesome um, getting the fans obviously back and uh, and into it. My missus actually was coming today and she said, well, I get a car park. I said, that's actually been pretty quiet lately. You should be fine. And then I, <laughs> I come out for training this morning. I thought, oh, she's going to kill me. There was there was a couple of hundred here and it was uh, it was good to say. It was great. Um, so it's it's always good to have the fans back. Yeah, we saw your young bloke and Luke's yeah. young bloke out there having a kick as well. The next generation just getting in early. Yeah, trying to. Um, they're still shocking kicks, just like they're both like they're old men. But um, <laughs> no, nah, yeah, it's good. It's good bringing the kids down, mate, and, um, and getting all the fans and everyone back. Who was winning the battle between the boys? Oh, I was pretty even there, but I think my young fella Hutto took took Shuey's little boy out for a bit there. But um, nah, it was it was a bit of fun. The boys love it. You physically, you look like yep. you're in great shape. How are you feeling, and kind of how's your body going? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Um, pre-season's been good. Um, yeah, I, I haven't really missed a beat so far this pre-season. I'm pretty much done it all all minutes, which is pretty much what most um, players are trying to aim for is get as much time on the legs as possible and um, I'm, I'm no different and, and feeling good, ready to go. So touch wood, uh, no niggles before the end of the uh, start of the year would be great. You look in like terrific shape. How close are you to your career best kind of shape? Uh, yeah, I, I probably, yeah, I would be in, I guess, career best shape. I hate running around saying that, making these big statements and stuff, but um, no, I'm feeling great. Yeah, I'm feeling the best I've felt um, this time of the year. and. Um, I guess that's what you're just trying to do every year. I feel like I've, the last three years I've probably been in the same situation. This this year's obviously I've gone gone again a bit, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to prepare as well as I can for the year ahead and uh, try to stay as injury free as possible. And you're trying anything that's different, Jeremy? So, did you try anything different to, to get into that sort of shape? Uh, no, I didn't try anything too different. No, I I just um, I guess it's just a mindset thing and and a, and a change in. A few little things here and there. Like I said, the last sort of two or three years, I've slowly been trying to improve every year. And um, this year, I guess, has been a little bit more glorified, probably because of the way I look. Um, I look look a bit different, I guess. But I changed my beers up that I, I drink in the off season. Um, I was drinking the Wilson's Ginger Betties. They're only 22 calories, so are they. Um, I think they helped me drop drop a couple of kilos here and there. But uh, other than that, mate, nah, just just training hard um, with all the boys as much as I can. And the mindset thing, does that sort of come from, from last year and, and how that all went? Uh, a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I think as a, as a club, we, we had a poor year last year um, and we wanted to do everything we can throughout the off-season uh, to come back in, in as good a shape as we can uh, to prepare ourselves for this year. And, um, I was one of them. My, my mindset was purely that as well. I want to try and come back as in good a nick as I can to help the team get better. And, um, a lot of the boys have. Uh, we're training really well and are in a good space now. For at the, it's only the, it's only pre-season. Um, everyone's going pretty well, but I feel like as a group we've we've uh, tried to do everything we can to give ourselves the best opportunity. There were a few critics at the end of last season who were coming for you guys. I guess specifically yourself, Nick, and um, Yoey saying that mm. you know, the group looked unfit. Did you guys hear that? Any motivation in that for you guys? Uh, Oh, not really, mate. Like we, we we cop criticism all the time, and um, rightly so. It's fair enough. Everyone's got their opinions on on things, and um, I don't think it's a, a motivation thing for us. Um, it, it surely wasn't for me. Like I said, I've been trying to get better the last three or four years in in the fitness sort of side of things, and um, yeah. So I don't think it's a, a motivational thing. No, personally, it's just everyone trying to improve as much as we can each week and each year. And, uh, and try and get better. That's pretty much what we're here to do. Um, uh, hopefully, everyone can judge me on what I look like now. I guess <laughs> I do. I feel like I do get judged by what I look like a fair bit sometimes, which is fine. But um, no, nah, I don't think it's a motivation thing. I think the boys just want to continually get better. But what is career best shape for you? Like, what is it? Is it you know being a certain weight? Is it you know pushing certain weights in the gym, doing certain running type? What is what is what do you judge yourself on when you say career best shape? Oh. Um, oh, if you, you just got to go by fitness levels, I guess the way you're running. And mate, personally for me, it's how I feel. Um, everyone can put a number on your skin folds and your weight and your 2K time trial and all these sort of things, which is great. But um, at the end of the day, it's how you feel, um, and I feel good. Um, yeah, all indicators are, are down, I guess, in that aspect of things. But I'm, I'm feeling good. Um, I feel like I'm covering the ground well, and uh, I'm getting a bit older now, so it's it's always good to try and feel as good as you can. Touch with the the boys are in good.
good condition at the moment, but you mm. were kind of this time yeah. last year. Um, from the outside, I guess everyone wants to know, especially the fans, like how far you can go this year. Like, what are the realistic expectations for you? Do you guys kind of have a, a target there, or something you feel is really realistic for you? Um, look, we haven't really gone too deep into where we think we can get to yet. Um, we've really just been focused on this preseason. Um, like you said, last year we were, we were in a good position as well, and then um, the world come down on us really with the injuries and COVID and stuff. So. Right now, we're just really focused on just knocking this pre-season off, um, staying as healthy and as fit as we can. Um, and then from there, um, who knows? You never know how far you can go. Uh, we, we've still got belief um, in the whole group, in the club, um, that we can really push and, and make something of it this year for sure. But um, how far we go, who knows? But um, I think we'll just be continually just trying to focus on just getting this pre-season right, getting everything right before we start worrying about um, finals and premierships and all that sort of stuff. Has your new strength and conditioning coach brought some fresh ideas and, and changed up how you, you approach your summer? Yeah, big killer. Yeah, he's um, he's been good. Um, he has he has changed a few little things um, in the weight sort of side of things for us. Um, like anything, you, you just get change and, and boys sort of adapt to it and it's it's refreshing. Um, see how he goes in three or four years when he's been here and you got grumpy old blokes like myself and bunger running around <laughs> whinging about weights and stuff but um no he's been great mate he's been he's been awesome um he's come obviously he was at sydney and then he's been overseas and stuff so he's got a wealth of experience and um he's going to be great for us especially our young boys and getting them up to um their strength levels as soon as possible so is that in the, the gym more Has um no i wouldn't say more no um I mean, he's he's a lot more on technique killer He's very. Um, I love his name, Killer. He just he just sounds sounds mean, but he's a real nice guy. Um, no, he's really um, big on technique and form um, rather than lifting heavy. He'd rather you lift lighter and, and quality. Can I, can I ask you know the injury that ended your season last year? It's, mm. it's not a real normal one for footballers in terms of you know there's knees, hamstrings, and all that. This was a bit yeah. of a different thing. Is that was that different for your rehabilitation? Was it something you've never experienced before? <coughs> Uh, yeah, well, def the injury was definitely something I'd experienced before. Um, rehab was rehab was actually good. It was great, but the fact I just couldn't play, so I actually come good and I started to feel okay for after about three three or four weeks. But I just couldn't. I wasn't allowed to have contact, so that was it was a frustrating one, I guess. Where your hammies and knees and all that stuff, you still know you act physically can't play. Where I felt like I could physically play, but I wasn't actually allowed to purely because of like the bone breaks and if I did it again sort of thing. So it was a bit frustrating, um, especially the position we're in as a club as well, as a senior player. And um, you want to be out there contributing and trying to help the team as much as you can. And when you're on the sidelines for, like you said, an injury that's pretty random, uh, it was a little bit frustrating, but um, I'm feeling all good now. And um, hopefully I don't get another one like that again. Did that help with the running? So yeah, things? it's a good point. Yeah, it, it, it did, definitely, yeah. So I could actually get a good base of running in before off season. Which, um, which is a blessing, I guess. Uh, you take every positive you can out of it, and um, that sort of was was one. Uh, it gave me a bit of a uh, run up into the off season, but um, yeah, I'd much rather be out there playing footy. That's for sure. Tommy Coles, probably sign you're looking forward to yeah. having back out there next year. He's had a bit of a setback though. How's he travelling? Yeah, he's alright. He's just uh, he's tweaked his ankle a little bit, but um, he'll be fine. There's been pretty precautionary with him, obviously missing last year, so. Um, yeah, we just, like I said before, we want to try to get everyone as fit and healthy as we can and uh, we'll be as precautious as we need to with him and I can't wait to have him back. Um, he's an underrated player, I think, for especially within our four walls, he's highly rated um, and down back, he's, he's won the first pick for me. Um, I love playing with him, so I can't wait for him to come back. Is there going to be a tough selection squeeze potentially in those early rounds? With Tommy coming back, you brought Jaden Hunt in who can play yeah. half back. Jermaine Jones went there last yeah. year. Brady Hoff, like, is it how tough is it going to be to fit those kind of small, medium guys in? They're all fighting for you know two spots essentially. Yeah, yeah it is going to be tough, um, but it's a good problem. Like that's great to have. You want to have uh, tough selection calls, I, I feel. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll find out on the later sort of um, rounds of the NAB Cup or um, preseason games. Uh, we'll find out who's going to pick those spots up, but it's, it's a good issue to have. Um, but those boys can all run through different positions as well, through the wing, can go to half forward if they all need to as well. So, um, yeah, it's a good issue to have, but um, yeah, the, 
Simo wouldn't be saying the same. <laughs> It'd be nice and easy if he could, uh, he, he could pick the same every week. But um, no, it's it's good that we've got a few boys running through there. So is Simo potentially a, a <coughs> bit of a role change for Luke Shuey? Could you see him running off halfback? Yeah, I could. I've been trying to say that for a few years. I've been getting in, in Boots' ear and Simo's ear saying he should bring him a halfback. But um, yeah, he might. Um, he's been doing a little bit of training down there. But a um, oh, fit Luke Shuey flying. You want him in the in the midfield. That's... Let's be honest, but um, if he comes down back, I'll be I'll be more than happy to have him down there for sure. Speaking of Shuey, I suppose at this time of year we try and go on as many different stories and angles as we like and can. Uh, the captaincy's been one that's been yeah. floated around. You've been vice captain for a while. Is is that something you've thought about as well? Whether you take a step up, stay where you are, or take a step back? Um, no, nah, mate. To be honest, no, not really. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't see why we need to change it or we're going to change it I don't think we've really we haven't really spoken about too much as a club about changing it um, Boots has done a great job and there's no reason why personally I think he shouldn't just keep going ahead with it um, but yeah it, it, obviously discussions will be will be had internally between players and uh, coaches and things like that but at this stage I think I think Boots is perfect fit for us uh, the way we're going and, um, and for me personally if I do step up or whatever happens, happens. I've, like I've said before, I've never been one. My pure aspiration hasn't been to be a captain. Um, if I get picked and uh, the boys want me to do it, I'll do it. But, um, yeah, it's not something I'm trying to take off Luke Shuey, sh- sh- put it that way. Has he looked in that, that trunk <laughs> of halfback? Yeah, he's good, mate. He, he looks great wherever he goes. But um, I think he'll fit in really well down there, obviously, with his speed and... And his skill that he's got off half back would be would be great, and his experience, everything. So, yeah, ideally we'd love to keep him in the in the midfield. But yeah, if he comes down back, Come on, open arms. So, uh, I know regional fans are keen to get a bit of an update on Ruben Jimmy and how he's going. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess how do you see him moving into the season and what he might do early season? Yeah, he's been um, yeah extremely impressive. Um, just the way he carries himself and handles himself. Off the field, obviously everyone sort of knows what he what he's like on it. Um, but yeah, he's a he's sort of a, a young leader already. You can you can tell he's got a bit of a presence about him. Um, and then when we started getting in the footy stuff, he's yeah he's built for it for sure. Um, extre- I'm extremely excited about him, and um, it's just how we manage him now. And uh, he can he seems like the type of player who can play pretty much all positions. Um, obviously younger body. He's still pretty big for for a young kid, so uh, he, I, yeah, we'll we'll see how he's how he's worked and how he fits into the side and um, how his form is. But um, he hasn't really st- set the foot wrong yet. He's um, he's a new modern day sort of player, I guess. Extremely fit, big body, um, good skills, pretty much the whole package. So um, yeah, no, I'm excited about him. And um, same with all our draft picks that we got this year. The boys have really put their head down and worked their asses off so far and that's what you can ask for for the young boys coming in. How's he going, I guess, with like running patterns and whatnot? Because I imagine that's probably a big shift from, say, junior footy and waffle footy to, to AFL level. Yeah. Well, I haven't uh, had too much to do with that sort of side of things. Obviously, been, he's a midfielder, really, but he's come down back a couple of times off half-back and, no, he, he reads the ball and sees it, sees it pretty well. So, um, yeah, for... For a young kid just starting out, he's yeah he's sort of blown expectations out of the water a little bit. I think for a young fella coming in, he's yeah he's got an underbelly of confidence, which is what you want um, in his ability. But um, yeah, he's he's been great, mate. Um, I think he's going to be a great player for us, hopefully for a long time. For you guys as a defensive unit to get better, you spoke about the pressure on the I guess for the spots for those sort of small mids. As the, as the you know your bigger guys, a few of you've been plugging away down there for a while. Do you need guys like? Red Bazo and, and Harry Edwards to, to really push you guys for spots in the side this year to, to improve? Oh yeah, definitely. I think everyone does in all positions. Um, you need that competitiveness in, for positions and guys need to be playing most weeks like it, they don't know if they're going to be playing the next. Um, I feel like that's when you get the best out of out of everyone. So yeah, for sure. Um, but that's no different to any position on the ground really. But um, Harry Edwards has been, he's had a really good pre-season as well. Um, we've been pretty impressed with Harry. Um, and, and Rhett's obviously just getting managed a bit more as being a young fella and um, we're just working through it. But, um, yeah, I'll, ideally, yeah, you'd, you'd love boys to be pushing to play. That's what we want. We want boys to be pushing to play and putting the pressure on us senior guys. And um, that's not just down back, but throughout the whole team.